right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue our simulation here. And once again, our Tampa Bay Lightning get off to a pretty bad start, 15-10-2. I mean, it's not bad. We're above 500. Uh, we're in a playoff position right now. Yeah, we're fifth. Uh, we're sitting fifth in the Eastern Conference. But with the team that we have, I mean, we should be contending for the President's Trophy right at the gate all the way to the end of the regular season, okay? So that's why it's a bad start for us. Now, I was asking you guys in the last video, what should we do about the lines? Because uh, Connolly, Grandland, and Bernie Mac weren't pro pulling their weight. And a bunch of guys going back to the old thing saying, trade them, trade them, trade them. I've told you guys, that, I mean, I've told you before, I've I told these players as well, they're getting the chance. You know, last year was a bit of a fumble, but they're getting one more chance to see what they can do in the playoffs. So the team is not changing, but the lines can change. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, Len Lill, Trent Lofthouse, and Steven Stamkos, they're going to be on the first line together. They're all clicking well. Uh, Stamkos has more than a point a game, so i got to leave that lineup together, okay? Um, but Granlin and Connolly, they're not doing good with Tyler Sagan. Now, Tyler Sagan's great, but I want to I bolster up that second line a little bit more. Now, Dustin Brown's been doing great for us, so I want to give him the... Uh, I want to give him a promotion just because he's been playing really good for us. So he's going to come up to the uh, second line alongside of Nugent Hopkins, all right? We're going to stack up that second line. So now it's going to be Sagan, the Nuge, and Dustin Brown on the second line. And now Braden Shen, he's going to be centering Granlin and Connolly. So Granlin and Connolly are, going to, uh, are getting demoted back down to the third line, all right? So that's what I'm going to change there. Our power play um, was fine. Our penalty kill was fine. I don't need to change anything. Well, our penalty kill actually dropped off a little bit, but we're going to leave it for now just in case. Uh, so Connolly is still on the second power play, so he can still get his points, all right? Uh, but yeah, Granlin now, he has no power play time, and he's on the third line, so he's not going to get too many points. But you know what? He wasn't getting too many on the second line. I want to get that second line going as well. And Dustin Brown had more points than uh, Granlin. He was on the third line, and he had no power play time. He had more points than Guy Connolly, so that's why I'm giving Dustin Brown the promotion, all right? Uh, now, penalty kill. Was there anything we could have changed about the penalty kill? Um, no, I want to leave that penalty kill as it is right now. Yeah, I'm going to leave that as it is. All right, so Bernie Mac, he's still starting, boys. He gets one more year. Everyone on this team gets one more year. I'm not going to trade anyone, all right? They all get one more chance to see what happens. So, let's go... Yeah, let's go uh, another month, see what happens, okay? So, all the way up to the 31st of... November, all right? So come on, boys. Stamkos, Lofthouse, Len Little, you guys have been doing great. But we need to jumpstart that second line. Tyler Sagan's been getting points, um, himself being on the uh, second line power play. But we got, we got to get him some better wingers there. Jeff Schultz, uh, ooh, who's this guy? One year left, 31 years old. That's not bad. He could be somebody that I could trade away kind of thing or uh, a, a playoff guy, kind of guy because he's only got one year left on his contract, so it doesn't hurt us. Yeah, sure, player will be placed in minors. Why not? Guy's not bad. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to start him, though, but, uh, yeah, he's not bad. So that's good. All right, keep simulating here. So we got our defenseman for the uh, playoffs injuries, if that happens. Uh, QMJHL. We're going to try and just make the playoffs, though, with the, team, the way our team is playing. All right, so let's do uh, forwards, the QM, JHL. Let's see. Yeah, there's two top five guys in here. So let's go one more time for six weeks in the QM. There you go. All right. Now, come on, boys. Put some wins together here. Put some wins together with the new lineups. Bernie Mac, you got to start stepping up your game here. All right, stay, our first line is doing fine. Sagan's doing fine. Now the new, she's getting second line ice time with the second line power play. Oh, he's on the first line power play. Never mind. So, yeah. And look at this. It's continuing. Like one win, one loss. We're... You can't get into a roll here. We lose 7-8. to eight. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Yeah, the games that we're scoring goals, the other team is scoring more than us. What the hell's going on, man? We get seven goals in the game, and we lose. And then we come back with a 5 nothing win. Now watch. We'll probably lose this game now. We'll probably lose against Florida, even though they're not the greatest team. There you go. And we win 2-1. to one. See, we're all over the map right now. I don't know what to make of it. Jeff Walker, no, we don't need you. I'm waiting just like last year when we went on our 24-2 run. I'm waiting for that to happen. I know it's going to happen eventually. Maybe not that much. God damn, another loss. We just can't get going with wins. We'll get one or two, and then you know that loss is happening on the, third, uh, the second or third game. Come on, man. There you go. There's two in a row. Uh, all right. Now, come on. Let's go for three in a row here. We're on a road trip. San Jose. Oh, they're a good team. They're a good team. There you go. There's three in a row. All right. Let's continue it. Let's continue the little streak that we're on here. Nashville's a good team. All right. So we can only get three in a row. Whatever, three-game winning streak is actually one of the best that we've had in the season so far, so I guess I'll be happy about it. All right, but still, our record is still not that good. It's been, I think we got a little bit better that month, but not by too much. 22-15-3. 
Still not good enough for me. Still not good enough. Uh, Bernie Mac, he's not up there. Uh, wins, he's up there. Points, Stamkos is up there with 50. And Lofthouse is up there with 46. So that's what I mean. Our first line is doing fine. Assists, uh, Lofthouse is third in the NHL. Goals, uh, Stamkos is fifth in the NHL, tied for fourth. All right, so our first line is doing fine right now. We're in sixth in the East, so that's not good. Uh, we're 10 points behind Toronto, 11 points behind Nashville. So we can still get to the President's Trophy, but we need to win like five, six, seven in a row to get back into the race, all right? So hang on a sec. Let's check out the stats. Uh, team stats here. Let's see. Let's see if we're still producing the way we should. Our goals four per game should be skyrocketing, yeah. Yeah. We're scoring goals. That's not a problem. Like that game that we lost eight to seven. It's like that jumps up our goals for uh, goals four per game. But we still lost the game, right? So that's what I mean. I think statistically we're gonna be fine. Goals four per game looks fine. Top three. Goals against per game. Woo, that's way too high. Two point six five. That is way too high. I don't know what's going on defensively this year. All right. Uh, power play percentage. Ooh, our power play actually dropped off a little bit. It used to be a lot better. I think it was like top three in the NHL before it's dropped down at 22.7. All right, so we'll come back to that. And our penalty kill. Our penalty kill is fine. Like, it could be a bit better, but uh, it's hovering around 85, which is the best team in the NHL right now. So 83.1, I'm fine with that, all right? Again, I think if we just go on a little bit of a tear, all will be changed. And, like, our stats will jump up. Um, everything will jump up. So let's go one more month. I'll go one more month without changing anything. We'll go up to the All-Star break, all right? But come on, boys. I mean, you have the team here. Play for your team, all right? Maybe they're just, uh, they don't play at the beginning of the season because they know they're a playoff team now. They're, they're veterans. They're getting old. They're getting cocky. There you go. There's two in a row. Way to go. December. This, is, uh, this was a good month. Or no, January. Sorry. January was a really good month for us last year. Let's turn it into a good month for us this year. There's three in a row. There we go. There's four in a row. All right. Starting to turn it around here. Come on, keep it going. Keep the good times going. Five in a row. Way to go. All right, so we're starting to get back into the President's Trophy race now. Six in a row. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Montreal. Seven in a row. You see what I mean? I knew this was coming eventually. Our team is just too stacked. There we go. We got seven in a row on that little streak. All right, that makes up for a lot of our losses. That makes up for a lot of our losses. I guarantee you now, statistically, our stats will look great. Uh, just after that little run. Uh, there's a couple guys in the Elite League. Top 10 for QMJHL. There's a few of them. Yeah, let's check out this Elite League. There's two guys. Yeah, why not? Six weeks in the Elite League. Top, two top 10s. All right. Let's continue the rest of the month here. We are, what, 7-1? I shall go. Yeah, we don't need to watch the All-Star break. We are 7-1 in January. So let's keep it going. Let's keep the good times going here. 7-2. All right, watch. Now we'll go on a five-game losing streak and erase it all. Come on, boys. Come on, pick yourselves up after that couple of losses. You guys had a good little run. Get back on track here. There you go. 8-2 and two in January. Very nice. Come on. Start winning some games again. There you go. 9-2 and two in January. Very nice. 10-2? and 10-2 and two in January. All right, boys. So January, once again, back-to-back -back years. It doesn't matter if we lose the rest now. 11-2 uh, and two in January. Back-to-back uh, -back years, January has been a great month for us. So it's good. We start to turn it on right at the right time. So that's very good. All right, and it looks like Stamkos and Lofthouse are having a great season together, which is really good. All-Star, no, we don't need to see the All-Star game, whatever. All right, so let's check out everything once again. First of all, our AHL team, our AHL team is doing good. They're not, uh, we've had a better, we've had a better record before when we had Monaghan, uh, what was it, uh, Galchenyuk, was that his name, Galchenyuk? I can't even remember. Why am I, Jesus, why am I forgetting that guy's name? It, it is Galchenyuk, right? Alex Galchenyuk, yeah, what the hell. And uh, LaFontaine. Uh, when we had those guys starting in our AHL team, then we were like a really good record. But still, we have guys down there, and we are a uh, playoff team with Malcolm Subban in the cage. So that's good, all right? But NHL-wise, 33-17-3. We had a great, I'll show you guys quickly, we had a great January. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 in a row, then we lost 2. 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 and 2 in January. So we really did jump up our stats there. That's very good. All right. Uh, goals against average. We're not up there. Save percentage. We're not up there. Uh, wins. Bernie Mackey's up there. Points. Uh, Kessel and Kadri are leading the NHL in points. Holy crap. Stamkos is there. Fourth, 62 points. Lofthouse is there. 57 points. So again, I don't really care about leading the NHL in points as long as they're producing more than a point a game. Um, those are good players, so I really don't have uh, a preference on if we win or not. Assists, 
Uh, Loftus and Stamkos are both tied with 37. Very nice. Uh, goals. Um, Stamkos has kind of trailed off a little bit. He only has 25. All right, so he's eighth in the NHL. All right. Uh, the Eastern Conference, you see, we uh, we climbed all the way back up to the uh, top of the East. 69 points now. Um, and we are second in the NHL, second to the Toronto Maple Leafs, the team that knocked us out last year. All right. So maybe the Toronto Maple Leafs were a good team, even though they were in eighth last year or seventh because we finished the regular season. I think, I don't, I don't know if we won the President's Trophy. I think Pittsburgh did. Um, but yeah, so at least we got knocked out to a good team. It looks like Toronto's on the rise in our uh, franchise here. Leading the NHL with 73 points. But we're only four points out of the uh, President's Trophy race right now. So that's really good. All right, that you see what I mean? That little seven-game winning streak, one good month of hockey with our team, and all of a sudden we're back in it. So I really like that. So let's check out our player stats and our team stats once again. All right. Um, okay, 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 okay. Goals four per game. Let's see. We're still at the top of the NHL, so we're scoring goals. All right, goal scoring is not a problem. 3.32. All right, goals against per game, good. That's dropped off a bit, uh, 2.49. I want to get it below 2.25, which would be the best in the NHL. All right, so if we can get to my goal, that would be great. But still, with our goal scoring and a top six for goals against, we're uh, starting to turn it around. You see what I mean? One good month, all of a sudden our stats start to take shape again. Uh, power play percentage, 20%. That's not good enough. Our power play has kind of been shutting down a little bit. I may have to look at that. But it's good to know that our 5v5 is uh, really starting to do good. So maybe that second line changeup was the right thing to do. Uh, penalty kill, it's hovering around 85%, so I'm fine with that. All right, it's sixth in the NHL. I don't need to change the penalty kill. But maybe the power play gets changed up a little bit, all right? And last but not least, let's check out the player stats. All right, let's just check out the player stats here. Oh, my God, it's taking forever. Taking forever, come on. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, all right, so forwards, let's see here, points. Uh, yeah, so Sam, Stamkos is still having a great season. 62 points in uh, 53 games played. Lofthouse is now a point, uh, over a point a game player, 57 points in 53 games. And Len Little, um, just playing along those two guys, he's getting his points now as well. 32 assists, 17 goals, 49 points in 53 games. So that first line is set. All right, and the and for the way that we had these guys signed long term, hopefully we're gonna sign Len Little long term, and we can. Um, this line is gonna stay together for a long time, so that's good. The second line, Nugent Hopkins, he's starting to score some goals now that he's getting second line ice time and first line power play time. Uh, Sagan, uh, 38 points in 53 games. Sagan could be a bit better, boys. I mean, you guys always make fun of Grandlin and Connolly. Sagan, he's got second line center and, and second line power play or first line power play duties. He could be doing a bit better. Dustin Brown's doing good after being brought up. Uh, Grandlin and Connolly, remember, we uh, demoted them down to the third line, so that's why they're not getting too many points. But if you ask me, Grandlin's having the better year than Connolly because Connolly's on the power play and he has the same amount of points as Grandlin, who's on a third line, and that's it. All right, so I think I got to take Connolly off the power play. He's not getting it done. Braden Shen, he's having a good year. Uh, Nick Ritchie's having a good year. Lemieux, yep, they're all having good years. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, defenseman now. Let's check out our defenseman. Is anyone having an outstanding season where they're going to have more than 50 points? It doesn't look like it. Hedman, once again, leading our team. Ekman Larson, 27. Uh, all right, so that looks about right for everything. And that goaltender, let's see, 2.33. All right, I want it to be below 2.25, but he's starting to get a bit better. All right, and a save percentage is starting to climb as well. 0.93, uh, point. 0.913, sorry. So that little run, all of our stats started to get a bit better. But you know what? In the next video, I think I'm going to have to change up our power play lines a little bit. I think i got to demote Connolly and bring up somebody else. We'll see what it is, all right, boys? Um, yeah, we'll do that in the next video, and then we'll go all the way to the trade deadline. All right, boys? See you then.